In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload MARC records. So the first thing you want to do is log into Destiny and then click on the Catalog tab. From there, you'll go to Import Titles and it will take you to this screen. You can basically you can skip the title matching section, the copy matching section. Just go with what's already there. The defaults are what we've are um, what we've always used. What you do want to click on is the assign copy information. So click on this update button here. And this will give you the option of um, setting a sublocation. So let's say you've ordered a bunch of books that are all high school fiction. To save yourself time, you can tell Destiny to assign them all the high school fiction sublocation. Um, now, if you've if you're going to upload books that are going into different sublocations, you just want to leave it leave it as undefined, and you'll have to go back later and manually change each one. Um, if you if you're going to be uploading books that are from all the same vendor, you can select the vendor here. So let's say you're entering books that you got from Follett. You can click on Follett there. And then the funding source. If you're uploading books that were all paid for with the same funding source, you can select that here. You don't have to change any of these. You can leave them all as undefined, and that's fine. And then you can go back in and change each one later. So once you've done your changes here, click OK. And then you'll scroll, to, scroll down to where it says Import File, and you want to choose File. And this is where you upload your MARC records. So for the purpose of this video, I have um, downloaded a record from the Library of Congress. And here it is. You always want to make sure that your file ends with a .mrc. That means it's a MARC record. So I've chosen my file, and then I click on Import. And here you'll see that it's importing my titles. So I can refresh it until it's completed, and then I view. And you'll see that it read one record. There was only one item in the MARC record that I uploaded and it added one title. It did not give it a copy number or a barcode number because the MARC record that I uploaded did not include a barcode number. When you order from Follett, it usually will include a barcode number, so you might see one there. If there was any errors or any problems, you would see here that there would be a, a one or a two or how many errors there were and then an explanation. But for now, there are no errors. So just to make sure it worked, I'm going to go back into Destiny. And the record that I uploaded for this video was um, a Judy Bloom title. So I can check. And here it is. You can see it added one title. No copies. So if I wanted to add copies, I can just go in, click on my Add Copies, enter the barcode, call number, etc. Same as usual. And that's it.